Hey guys, what's up? It's Nathan New 52 here, and I'm back with another Injustice Gods Among Us video. And this is my first video back from the holiday in America I took, and that was all good if you are asking. And as I got back, the Ami Komi um, Catwoman challenge just came out. It was perfect timing, and right now I'm going to do a review on Amikomi Catwoman. Um, I'm not entirely sure what Amikomi means, but you, um, I'm not sure if you know. You can all, you can, um, you can tell me that in the comments. But here she is. I got her to level twenty. Um, and at level twenty, uh, with also her support cards, she has six k damage and nine k health. And this is what she looks like. Her passive is nasty scratch. 25 chance to apply bleed over time and power drain effects on combo ender and that stacks three times so if you do not know what a combo ender is it's basically the tap 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 swipe combo and uh later after i show you i'm going to be talking about if that's a good passive or not but let's look at her support card her support card the scary boyfriend for 10 percent health bladed claws for 10 percent damage and steel from the ridge for 10 percent energy generation and um of course, her uh, moves are first move her Metal Claws tan to Catwoman's opponent, and it does do a bleed damage over time for 10 seconds. Her second move is Pouncing Blows. Catwoman jumps at her foe, performing deadly slashing attacks. And, her, of course, her super move is Catwoman merges strength and agility to launch an unstoppable barrage of pain unblockable, and that is nine lives, guys. And, uh, yeah, I've unlocked all the gear slots, and... Let's just put her some gears on her first. I might put uh, her, the Netherrealm Karma, Promethium Longsword, and Powered Escrima Sticks on her. And, yeah. And, so, yeah. Um, let's get into some gameplay with her. I'm going to go into Survivor. I re looks like I already have a fight going, so I might just cash out from this one and start a new one. But if you would like to see me do a some and some videos on injustice or some some extra ones like um because I just came back from break so just, so just to do some extra videos, let me know in the comments. I'll see if I can fit that in. And uh, also, I might today I might talk about the um icebreaker pack. I'm gonna talk about that later. Uh, after I look at Amakomi Catwoman, so the Icebreaker Pack isn't one of the new packs released, uh, along with the Alien Invasion Pack and another fa pack, I can't remember what it is, but yes, we will look at that, and yeah, and in the near future, in the near future, we're going to be reviewing, uh, if she comes out, Teen Titans Raven, and also, and... I'm not sure if, um, what do you call it? Uh, Earth 2 Solomon Grundy had his challenge yet, so I don't think he's actually had the challenge yet. So, um, I need to fix that. So, let's create our team. Uh, spin to win. Let's see what we can sp uh, win. We're going to get a uh, last laugh ticket, so that's good. So, yeah, let's look at how she plays. Um, here she is, this is what she looks like, her fighting stance. And let's first show you her heavy combo, it looks like that, like all the other Catwomans. Let's go for a combo and then try and get that 25% chance of a uh, power drain and bleed. Looks like it's not happening. Okay, here it is. And there it is, guys. We both power drained and, and also we damage over time soon. So one hit and he is down. Uh, Lobo laser hook charge. There it is. Didn't happen. But let's look at his first move. It's like all the other ones. Cat claws. And it just does damage over time. And let's... This might be able to stack with the thing. But let's, let's save up for her second move. And actually we might not get a rage slam from Bane. And let's look at her second move. Which is called Panting Blow. She jumps up in the air. But I've actually never seen this. But it looks like that is her second move. Uh, I might do it again in case I missed something. Like, you know, sometimes in, like, uh, there were only three hits. There might have been, like, four or something. But, uh, yeah, we are going to play again and look at her stuff in more depth. 
So, um, so, I, I know that the Ami Komi exists in the console version of Injustice. I'm just not sure what there is. I'm pretty sure there's an Ami Komi Wonder Woman. And, yeah, I'm not sure why they decided to bring this in her into the game, Ami Komi Catwoman. And they did release a new Catwoman in the la in a few updates back too, and it was that was uh can't remember that was Arkham Knight Catwoman actually. So yeah, that was her second move again. It looks like it is just a uh, three hit. It's all right, nothing too special. And there is Nasty Strax again with a power drain. And bleed over time. Let's stack it up with the cat claws. So yeah, it'll, she'll be good with any bleed damage over time uh, characters. So you can just keep on stacking up the the damage over time thing. But yeah, it looks like she probably will die this round. Uh, but no matter. Let's take a look at her super move. So. So yeah guys, what I think of this character, Amikomi Catwoman, she's a decent character. Her base stats are 1,200 damage, 1,400 health. So I would say she's a good character. Uh, with stat-wise, they have been releasing some really good stat characters um, recently. Like uh, the highest stats of all time in the game. Injustice 2 Superwoman, which is also what I believe is the best passive uh, the best character in the game because of his passive and also his um what do you call it um yeah his stats too it was 1400 of each but back to amikomi catwoman she has a decent passive i'm not sure it's as good as injustice 2 superman's um but it's on the same level as injustice 2 aquaman's passive so go check out my injustice 2 aquaman review uh on my channel if you want to know more about him, and also check out my Injustice 2 Superman review if you want to know more about him. But, like I was saying, she is a decent character. She has high stats, but not that of good passive. And I, uh, I'm, I'm not sure if you should use her or not, because if she had a better passive, I might use her a bit more. But right now, I'm sticking with, uh, like, Injustice 2 Superman, not Justice Batman. Um, their characters are, um, they're my good characters. So, yeah, oh, and Regime Nightwing's knocked out. I'm relying on Red Sun Batman, which is not someone I want to be relying on. Um, so, yeah, yeah, I totally recommend going for the um, um, challenge if you want a character with good, nice, good stats. But if you're looking for passives, I suggest going for the Icebreaker pack, which, is some, uh, which I'm going to look at next. But right now, all I'm going to do is I'm going to just show you her super move. So I'm just going to put the scimitar on her. And I'm pretty, if you haven't seen Catwoman's super move, it's probably mo the most Mortal Kombat super move. Probably the most violent in my opinion. If there's another one I'm missing, uh, please tell me because I might be not thinking of one. But let's get to this and show you her super move. So, it is probably the most violent super move in the game. It's very Mortal Kombat-esque. Oh, there's a power train. Jeez, I should really get... Oh, jeez. Oh, okay, I thought that was part of the passive. It's actually just the scimitar. But here's a super move. She kicks her opponent, drags her down, and does this really Mortal Kombat thing. Uh, it would make it really Mortal Kombat if when she was scratching her face, it would do a lot of extra stuff. So, yeah, guys, that is her super move and uh, so let's look at the ice breaker pack from here it costs 480,000 credits and it gives you luchador bane killer frost and killer frost regime so i'm just going to sell some characters to get this uh to get this money so i can buy it for you it's not one of those packs where it just gives you um, it just definitely gives you one character. Like, it just, it's not like a random pack. It's a set pack, which means it just gives you these three characters and no other three characters. So, um, and another issue I forgot to cover with Amakomi Catwoman is these two packs with money. Um, 
I definitely think you shouldn't um, use money to to uh, look at the to buy them. I definitely don't think it's worth it. Much rather buy the MediHuman Flash, but even I don't think that's worth it either. But uh, yeah, so let's look at this Icebreaker pack. But obviously, it just gives you these three characters. Whoops, I accidentally clicked it. But the characters are Killer Frost, Raging Killer Frost, and Luchador Bane. And they don't really have much of a, um, much of a, let's say, um, what should I call this? Chemistry, that's the word, but, um, they, it is quite a good pack, um, and the chemistry is between the two Killer Frosts. I'm not sure why the Luchador Bane is in there, but I'm guessing they call it the Icebreaker pack, so it's just a Luchador Bane who can break ice because he's really strong. And also the two killer frosts, because, well, they are ice. Let's find the two killer frosts. I can't really find them. And let's just look at it. So, yeah, guys, this is the ice breaker pack. And the reason I'm saying there's, that there's chemistry is the regime killer frost and killer frost combo. Uh, let's look at killer frost passive first. Best serve cold dampens all opponent's power generation by 50%. And also killer frost surrounds her opponent by bitter cold. It reduces all healing effects by 90%. And when she performs a special attack, power generation and speed are reduced by 50%. And that means when combined with Killer Frost, she, um, that they will generate no power for a certain amount of time after a special attack. So let's look at Harley Quinn. She's generating power as I hit her. But once I do a special attack, Cold as Ice, from Raging Killer Frost, she won't generate any power at all. See, I'm hitting her a lot. But... As long as that ice stays on her, she won't regenerate any power. Okay, now she's regenerating power because it's cooled off. But, yeah, that's what I mean, guys. And she is down. But, yeah, guys, uh, should you get this pack? I don't really think so. I'm pretty sure you should you should save up for an alien invasion pack. I think that might be much better because it provides very strong characters. I'm pretty sure it's uh, Lobo, maybe Bounty Humber Lobo, um, Martian Manhunter, and Darkseid. So yeah, Darkseid's a good character, but he is very slow. Martian Manhunter's a good character, Re really nice passive, especially for fighting Dawn of Justice, Batman, and what was the other one? Uh, Lobo. Um, for uh, if for normal Lobo, it's good because he's immune to power drain, but you can get him in the store. But if it's Bounty Hunter Lobo, he's good. He has very high damage. Bounty Hunter Lobo. He's a good character, and he also has a really nice passive. Evolving his second move not the best passive, but still a good passive So yeah guys that is an Ami Komi Catwoman review and also an icebreaker pack review So I hope you guys enjoy this video be sure to check out my friends Raging Vader, Max of Z, Alex Gaming and also Injustice Gamer 52 links will be in the description and I hope you enjoy this video so thanks for watching guys and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.